Hello, I'm Rod Muster, a product manager on the Polaris team. I'm here today to introduce Polaris's new application risk scoring capability. Application risk scoring enables you to identify which applications represent the most risk to your organization. It calculates a risk score based on the severity of issues in an application and adjusts that score up or down based on business, environmental, or any other kind of risk factor relevant to your organization. Let's take a look. In Polaris, if you go to your uh, organization settings, you'll see that we've added a new risk scoring tab. And to uh, by default, it's turned off, but to turn it on, you simply need to check the box. The next step would be to create one or more risk factors depending on your organization. Uh, we've provided one default one just to get you started. You're welcome to use that, or you could uh, deleted it as well. But let's take a look at what makes up a risk factor. So you can see here, we have a risk factor named business criticality, and we have three categories for it. Non-critical business, uh, business supporting, or mission critical. So if an application is not critical to the business, then what we want is its overall risk score to be reduced. In the case where it's business supporting, maybe we don't want the risk score adjusted up or down. But if an application is mission critical, and if it were to be compromised in some way and not be available, that could represent risk to the organization than other applications. So we wanna score this highly so that we increase the risk score of any mission critical applications. And then we can define a default category that will automatically get assigned to all applications. Now, of course, we'll go in later and we can adjust each application's category based on the particular attributes of that application. So let's go ahead and define a new risk factor. Let's call this one network availability. And we're gonna have three categories under that. We'll have internet facing. And because internet facing has a bigger attack surface, that represents more risk to the organization. So we'll want to adjust the risk up. Then we could define another category that says internal network. So these might be internal tools used by team members. And so we'll consider that a neutral rating. And then finally, perhaps we have air gap networks, applications running on air gap networks. Because it's not reachable, we want to adjust the risk down for applications that are on air gap networks. And then let's assume that in this organization, most applications are on the internal network so we'll define that as the default category. Now, the next step is to assign weights to all of our risk factors. So in our case, maybe we consider network availability. We want that to be weighted higher when calculating the risk score than let's say business criticality. So we're gonna give network availability an 80% weight and business criticality a 20% weight. We'll confirm that and then we will go ahead and save our changes. Okay, so now that we've done that, where can I see these risk scores? So if we go to the portfolio, you'll see this new column called risk score, and we can sort applications by their risk score. And so that we can see that this application, Moondog Limited, has the highest risk score of all of our applications. So maybe this is where we want to focus our remediations efforts first, since it represents more risk to the organization. The Now, the next step would be to go into each application. We're going to go into this. Let's go into this WebGoat Enterprise application and notice its current score of 64. So we're going to open this up. If we go to the settings page of the application, you'll see the risk factors that we defined here. And they're currently set to the default values because we have not come in yet and set uh, specific values for this WebGoat Enterprise application. Let's say that this application, it is internet facing and it is mission critical to the business. Let's go ahead and save those settings. And now if we go back to our portfolio screen, we notice now that the, the score has changed. Remember we assigned it risk categories where we wanted to adjust the risk level up and that's what we did. It went up to score of 89. Now, another way to see and get a summary of which applications represent the most risk to your organization, you, we have deployed a special dashboard for risk scoring. 
So if you go into dashboarding and you open up the Polaris risk dashboard, here you'll see information about the average risk score across all applications, the top 10 most riskiest applications um, in your organization, as well as a list view of that. So this will provide reporting to executives and stakeholders about which applications represent the most risk to the organization. It can also be used by application security testing teams when they want to determine where they need to focus with their remediation or training efforts. It's easy to get started with risk scoring in Polaris. To learn more about risk scoring and other features in Polaris, please visit blackduck.com slash Polaris.